Hello everybody, shall we all having a super magical day? It is Disney Plus release here in the UK today. I'm so super duper uber excited. I feel like I've been waiting forever to watch it. So I thought I'd do a little like home vlog and bring you along with what I'm going to do today, which is literally just watch Disney Plus. I'm literally, so it's now 7am. I don't usually go up till like 10am, so I literally set my alarm and I was like, Dad, bring you to work, could you like put Disney Plus on? And he's like, yeah, yeah. And I was like, thanks. Minus the part where I basically begged him last night at dinner, but I'm so excited. I think first time I'm gonna watch the Imagineering story. I was everyone's like, why aren't you watching the Mandalorian? Why don't you want to see Baby Yoda? And I'm like, I have to wait because my whole family and I are gonna watch it all together. I did just have a mini photo shoot, hence this is actually a screen from YouTube uh, because it, the opening screen for Disney Plus gives you oh there's the remote, not like 0.3 seconds. And I wanted to get a cute pic and be like, I'm watching Disney Plus, like the true Instagram I am. So let's get started and watch the Imagineering story. I've seen people do like watch parties and things on Twitter. I'm not that experienced with social media yet, but maybe if that's something I can figure out, maybe we could give that a go. But let's start watching and get off YouTube. Look, it's literally a YouTube video. I wasn't even lying. But Disney Plus works on my TV. I didn't think it was going to because I'm not sure how old my TV is, but apparently not that old. So let's get scrolling. Okay, to be fair, they've now just opened this up to the UK. And in the UK today, we have just started um, lockdown. So we're all on lockdown and no one can leave the house. So this literally came out on the perfect day. Like our lockdown started today and Disney Plus is out today. But I have a feeling, one, everyone is gonna be on Disney Plus. Two, everybody's gonna be watching the Imagineering story. So if this doesn't work, we will just have to watch fairy tale weddings, which I'm not gonna be mad about, but we'll have to give it a go. No, it's not working. Oh, the happiest place on earth. Ah, oh, I wonder if it's about Disneyland. Disneyland is your land. It's loading, it's loading, da, 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 da. it's loading, it's loading for me. Yay! Okay guys, I'm gonna watch off and then I'll give you my synopsis afterwards. So I'm about halfway into the first episode. I don't know if you can see, but I'm just sobbing. Like I feel so lucky that we all have Disney as a thing to love and like I just love it so much like I want to be a VIP tour guide in Magic Kingdom or well, even in Disneyland just anywhere it's just the concept that all this magic went into the magic that we see today I just think it's so amazing I just think well Disney was amazing and I just I just love Disney history like I this program is absolutely insane it's talking about the Tiki Room and the Tiki Room is my absolute favourite thing at Disney it's my absolute favourite thing it's just it's just this is just such an amazing program. I cannot. Oh, you have to watch the Imagineering story. I'm literally just sobbing. My face is like what? <laughs> oh. So there is a carousel of progress section in this. I'm not going to spoil it for people that want to watch. But Rover wasn't always Rover. What the frick? That is wild, dude. And John Progress wasn't always John Progress. Crazy. Tour guys were in tears. I can remember it like it was yesterday. So I can't believe. I feel like it's so sad that Walt Disney died, but I feel like he died when he was supposed to. Like he did what he needed to do, and then why he got to carry on his vision. But jeez, I've never, I've actually never cried this much at anything in my life. This TV show is literally insane, oh my gosh. I know I'm gonna be watching this like 7,000 times. I'm 15 seconds in and I'm crying! I just think I'm living! They're not even saying or doing anything I don't know, but it's just a concept of I actually just love Disney so much, and I just feel so blessed to have something that I love this much, and now I get to see all this cool stuff, which is exactly why I wanna be a tour guide, is to tell everybody all this awesome stuff, and I'm just really excited to learn all this stuff, and I just love Disney so much, and I just I just love it. I just really, I just really love it. I'm just so excited to watch this. <laughs> Walker in the Mazahorn. I was not expecting it to be that good. I think that is the most I've ever cried in like a TV show or a movie. Oh, yes, I want to watch episode two, please. Yes, please. I just, what do you mean, sneak peek? I don't get to watch them all? 
so was fully ready to watch episode two just sob my heart out bless what disney like just love him we only get one episode disney plus has been out for three months or something in america it came out in november it's now march and you're telling me we have to wait excited to wait but also like i was expecting to be able to just continuously watch everything does this mean we only get one episode of the mandalorian at a time like yeah, Clone Wars stream episode ones and twos. I can't watch The Mandalorian, so I'm just going to click on it quickly. How many episodes do we get for The Mandalorian? Maybe like two? What? I feel like we, as Brits, I need to come off this because I don't want to watch any of it without my dad. But like, I feel like we should have been given the whole thing. Like, we had to wait four months and we get two episodes or one episode of things. But still love it, still love it, but just kind of raging a little down a bit. Okay, so the Imagining Story has been watched. I watched part one, The Happiest Place on Earth, and a 10 out of 10 from me, 100%. This is the best TV show I've ever watched. It really reminds me of like the curiosity that I got from Saving Mr. Banks, but with actual Disney like knowledge and Imagineers, and it was just so amazing. Do definitely watch this. I'm excited to watch over the next six weeks. I think I might do like weekly Disney Plus reviews. Um, I am excited to get to spread it all out, but I was also ready to get like deep into my like Disney imaginary feels and like cry it out for a few hours but we have to wait that's the way it is uh next up so my, i've just spoke to my dad he's like working from home and i was like can i just touch it quick and he's like okay and i was like thanks so i think someone said there's something like one day at disney or something so i think i'm gonna give that a go next because we're watching the mandalorian tonight like that has been decided i have to wait for my dad to finish work and we're gonna watch my bro Oh, they've got, they literally have so much stuff on here. Like, High School Musical, the series. I don't know if I want to start it until we have, like, all the episodes. But then I want to, like, watch it. And there's all these shorts as well that I want to watch. But I think I'm going to do One Day at Disney now. I'm going to watch, yeah. I think that's, oh, and then there's Disney for Adult Weddings. Ugh. There's just so much to watch. We're going to do One Day at Disney. I'm going to give that one a go next. These have been so good. Like, I would download Disney Plus alone just to watch, like, these documentaries. I think they're absolutely insane. I think they should definitely make a second season of uh, The Imagineering Story because that is amazing. But let's give One Day at Disney a go. So I just finished One Day at Disney, very very cute again. So the Imagineering story is more based on like the behind the scenes of Disney, the, the magic which makes the magic happen. Whereas uh, One Day at Disney was, I think that's what it was called. Yes, One Day at Disney is more about the cast members and basically it is little, it's all about them as children, they had all these dreams, for example they love Marvel or storytelling or trains and it's all then about how they got their dream jobs at Disney basically so they are just real life examples of whatever you wish will come true. Who knows, maybe one day if they do another season you may see me on it being a VIP tour guide. Like, one thing that's definitely come from watching Disney Plus is I just feel so thankful. Like, I think my tweet kind of sums it up perfectly in words, so I'm just gonna read it out to you. So, I tweeted, I feel blessed to live in a world where it's something I love so much, Disney. Well, Roy, Bobka, Iga, all the Imagineers, cast members, thank you for making the magic which will change my life forever. I hope one day to be a plaid working on Main Street giving tours. And I just... I, obviously I'm doing a degree right now to become a teacher and that is what I want to do but I would give absolutely anything to be a tour guide at Disney and spread magic just be a cast member of any shape or form and to see just people from all around the world regular everyday people get to live their dreams whether that's conducting the Lily Bell on the Disneyland Railroad or producing Marvel movies like whatever you do like you have the power to make your dreams come true and that is what this show implies definitely another one to really do give a watch update so it seems as if we've been given the whole of season one of Disney's Fairytale Weddings so I'm gonna put that one on on pause and I think we're gonna watch some Mickey Mouse shorts for now because I know what I'm like I'll sit and watch the whole season and I want to get a good grip of Disney Plus to be able to give you guys if you don't already have it I don't know why you wouldn't but a good review on whether or not you should download Disney Plus I think the answer is already yes but we're gonna watch Steamboat Willie first I literally cannot even express to you how excited I am to finally watch my favorite version of Mickey Mouse ah, oh my gosh I'm so excited to see him whistle 
I don't know why, but the concept of Mickey Mouse throwing a half-cut potato at a bird was just absolutely hilarious to me. That was such a good short, I can very easily see why Disney just hit off as such an amazing company from that short. Next up, I've just found something called Waking Sleeping Beauty, which I haven't heard of and seen anybody watch yet, so I thought I'd give it a go. Um, the, like, synopsis says, let's see if I can get it back up. It's quite slow, I think, because everybody's on it, but it says from a far fairy tale, Waking Sleeping Beauty is an unprecedented, eye-opening look at the conflict, drama and tension that ushered in the second chapter of Disney's animation legacy. A decade of unparalleled creativity, ah, the Renaissance period, that included The Little Mermaid, Beauty and the Beast, Aladdin and The Lion King. Take a behind-the-magic look at the people and events that forever changed the face of animation. I love the behind-the-scenes stuff, so let's get going. <laughs> So, Waking Sleeping Beauty was really interesting. It was not like any of the other two documentaries that I've just watched. It more basically just showed that Disney was a corporation that had beef and drama, like any other corporation. But it was interesting to see that they thought that Pocahontas was going to be great and that Lion King was going to be a flop. Then obviously Lion King came through, uh, Little Mermaid came through, Aladdin and stuff. I'm really glad that Disney had that period. Um, it was weird, but it was interesting. Like, it just kind of said, Disney has problems. Yay! And I was like, okay, Fez. It's sad to hear that not everything is all zippity doo da and happy days inside the corporation as it is on the outside, but what did we expect, I guess? But interesting to see the runnings and things like that. Um, I don't like Eisner as a person. I don't think he's great. Uh, I think Roy Disney kind of possibly clings on to his title of who he is without having any ideas there. I think his name was Jeff, the guy that retired. I think it's a shame that he retired after the Lion King because he seemed to really have like the creative focus for the Disney. But I definitely think my favorite Disney CEO, obviously other than Walt himself and Roy, has to be uh, Michael Eisner. Oh my gosh, not Michael Eisner. <clears throat> Bob. Iger. I think Bob Iger is great. I think he's amazing. I'm gutted that he has now resigned. But that was a really interesting watch. Definitely give that one a watch as well if you want to know more about Disney's history and how the company kind of picked themselves up from a giant fall. Next up, we're going to watch Frank and Ollie, another documentary. I apparently seem to love documentaries. I've never been into watching documentaries. I've never really watched a documentary before. But I've got to sat here and watch like six of them this morning. So we're just going to keep on the documentary flow going. I really want to watch all the Disney Plus original content before I start the movies. This seems really fun. So we're going to give this one to go next but I'm gonna go make some lunch. So cute! I have no idea who Frank and Ollie are but I'm super excited to watch another documentary. I think I might be out of documentaries after this but we'll have to just wait and see. Oh I know who they are now. So I just finished watching Frank and Ollie and it was super cute. It really reminds me of the Sherman brothers who did a lot of the music for a lot of Disney movies. I know they definitely did it for Mary Poppins and they're so much fun and you see a little bit about them in Saving Mr. Banks. I can't believe for somebody who's never watched a documentary, I've watched one, four today. I've watched four documentaries today. Apparently there's something called Disney Insider. Um, I wish I had one of those microphones that you can just talk into to find things but... I'm going to try typing it a go. Considering that this came out today, it's very quick. Uh, sometimes it's slow with like getting into the physical movies, but other than that, it's really good. Um, like Again, could not recommend this more. It's literally kept me entertained all day, and I have a feeling it's going to keep me entertained for days, weeks, and months to come. So, super excited. I don't know if it's going to have this. Just type in Disney, do a little space bar. I can't see it. Or I might, I want to watch fairy tale weddings, but then I don't want to get into like an emotional hole of crying and sobbing over the fact that I'm never going to have a Disney wedding. They don't have Disney Insider yet. Okay, let's go back to the home page. I think maybe it's time to watch a Pixar short. I haven't watched one yet, which I'm super surprised about. Um, let's see what we can find. Oh, the Sherman Brothers story, the boys. Let's watch another documentary. Just one more. So this one says their music is unforgettable, their name is legend. Delve into the lives of Robert and Richard Sherman, the prophylic songwriting duo, whose music has been featured in classic movies such as Mary Poppins and The Jungle Book. Go behind the screen for a fascinating glimpse into how Walt Disney used the language of music to bring the brothers together, creating a cinematic leg legacy like no other. I think this is the last documentary that there is on here, but I'm going to have to give it a watch. I was literally just saying how much I love the Sherman brothers, so... The boys it is. Just literally all this knowledge I've just gained from watching Disney Plus. Like it's just insane and crazy. They just put all the most amazing things together. But yay! I love Disney Plus.
perpetrated a facade for 50 years. So I just quickly paused, uh, I think it's all the brothers, it's about the Sherman brothers, um, and we went and watched Mandalorian episode one. Oh my gosh, it was so cute. There was like these fish with legs, and they were like running, and it was really cute, and then like the ending was just tresbien. I will be watching this series. I have never seen such a cute thing in my whole entire life. Like I don't know how to process the cuteness. I don't want to give any spoilers, but... All I'm gonna say, baby Yoda, baby, baby Yoda, so cute, love it. I'm gonna get back to watching the Sham Brothers things and then we're gonna watch, I think it's like, Dress Disney or something, but it's about how they changed the theme parks from like Halloween to Christmas overnight, which I'm obsessed with, that whole thought process is amazing. I went to Disneyland Paris as a child and they actually did this and I saw it happen. Well, I didn't really see it happen, but like one day it was Halloween, next was Christmas. So I'm super excited to watch this. It's been a very successful day one of watching Disney Plus. Again, can I recommend it enough? Some people have got it today because I've been like, go get it, and then they have, and I feel like a true influencer. So Let's keep watching. I've been watching Disney Plus for 14 hours straight now and I'm not even mad about it, so. The last guest to leave the park, the magical conversion. Ah, they just moved the pumpkin? From beautiful tree. <gasps> to gingerbread man. Wow. From haunted attractions. I actually have goosebumps. I love Christmas, especially in March. Watch that circle, make a circle. They're dancing in the road. <laughs> I can't believe they're actually showing this process. I'm so freaking excited. Wow. This looks epic. A lot of people say that they haven't found this yet or knew this was a thing, so I'm really happy I found this. <sighs> oh, I love Sophia Carson. Oh my gosh, what an absolute queen. <gasps> Jordan Fisher. He is epic. Ooh. I knew that's who the voice was. Oh, I'm sorry, but Walt Disney World does it better. That is just facts. Soz. But the Small World Holiday is super cute. Yes, we forever stand. Yes, yes. Yes, yes, I'm so here for this. Okay, let's watch. I'm running out. I'm running out of tears. This has been an emotional day. I genuinely feel as if it should be like a legal haunted mansion requirement to give every haunted mansion an overlay. Like you could have a Hocus Pocus overlay. Obviously, you have the Nightmare Before Christmas one. You could do like you could just do so much. Like you could have a villains overlay. Like why are they not doing this? I think I'm about to find out with all the work that goes into the Nightmare Before Christmas overlay in Disneyland. But I'm so here for a Hocus Pocus haunted mansion overlay. Like you guys have no idea. The more I watch Disney Plus and all of these documentaries, I just have this really big obsession to go and go to Disneyland Resort. I went when I was 12, I did Bibbidi Bobbidi Boutique. I don't remember it much, but I do remember the magic that I felt from going. And I think next summer, it is Walt Disney World's 50th, but it's gonna be so expensive that I think I'm gonna have to go to Disneyland Resort. Like, there is no other option. I just have to go. If I can make it there this year, I will 100% try, but it's not looking likely. But 2021, you are gonna see Body Musketeer in Disneyland Resort. You heard it here first. You heard it here first. I need to do the walk, the walk and walk's footstep tours and really just get that magic. I want to spend like two weeks at Disneyland. <laughs> okay, update. 2021 is going to be the year I go to Walt Disney World for Christmas for the 50th anniversary, but also go to Disneyland Resort. I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I'm going to make it work. Next up, so after we've just watched Decoration Disney, the holiday special, now I'm going to work my way through some Pixar shorts. We're going to start with Lamp Life, which is about Bo Peep making a comeback in Toy Story 4. Uh, I'm going to get through as many as I can until I'm ready for bed. It is now 10.50 uh, in the evening and I started watching at 7am this morning, so I've been doing this for a while. <laughs> Okay, so it's now half past 11 of Tuesday, the 24th of March, Disney Plus, that light is gross, Disney, Oh, I look really 
pasty. Uh, Disney Plus has now been out since 1am. I started watching it at 7am, it's now half past 11. And I thought I would go over everything I've watched and rank in order uh, my favourite to least favourite things which I watched today. I will say though that everything I have watched has been amazing. So my least favourite was probably... Probably Lamp Life. I feel like everything that I've just watched in this short was basically what we already know, like, new from Toy Story 4, but it was still cute. Next up, I would then say... Um... Ollie and Frank. I couldn't really get into that documentary as I had another one which I really enjoyed but it was very good after that I would then put the boys the Sherman Brothers story again very good but just was not as awesome as some of the other documentaries I watched I would then put Waking Sleeping Beauty I feel like that was kind of like a really common sense documentary but then I think I only knew that information because I've done tours at Disney and things like that but it was very interesting again then I would put Decorating Disney it was so exciting to see how they decorate Disney for the Christmas season it's so interesting and amazing how many details and cast numbers and things that they put into place after that would have to be one day at Disney again it was very amazing but I had an expectation for it to be like something else it was very original in its own way and very good but not as good as the other thing then I would say uh the Mandalorian oh my gosh Baby Yoda is so freaking cute. So I've only watched episode one. So he was in it for like 2.5 seconds. But it was just freaking adorable. Loved it so much. Nobody told me he was that cute. Kind of feel like I should have got the plush, which I didn't get. But maybe it'll come back in stock. Then I would say the Steamboat Willie short. I've been wanting to watch the Steamboat Willie short for the longest time. I've just never got around to it. But for some reason, I just have the image of Mickey Mouse throwing this potato. I think it was like a bird in my brain cell. It's just been trapped here forever. And then the best thing I watched today was, of course, the Imagineering story. I've only watched episode one as that's all we've had in the UK so far but oh my gosh I've never cried so much. I have tweeted a lot today such as like why did Walt Disney have to die though? Um, that feeling you get in your heart when Walt talks that my friend is what we call magic. Uh, I feel so blessed to live in a world where I have something I love so much. Disney, Walt, Roy, Bob Gurr, I get all the Imagineers, cast members, thank you so much for making the magic which will change my life forever. I one day to be working plaid on Main Street giving tours. And that has all just been inspired from the Imagineering story from one episode. It's just revamped my love of Disney, the Walt Disney Company, Walt Disney himself. And it was just so incredibly, absolutely amazing. Obviously, I'm going to be watching more Disney Plus tomorrow. I don't know if I'll vlog it, but I'm definitely going to watch it. But I'm going to say a very successful day. I've been talking to people about, like, uh, Disney Plus and its cost. So I think it costs $5.99 a month, I want to say. We've paid for the whole thing. They had a deal in the UK where if you bought it yesterday, it only costed $49.99 uh, for the year, which seems like an absolute steal of a deal. If you think you pay £10 for a DVD and you're getting all of this unlimited content, which is just amazing. I think because... So I've already watched nine things. I feel like I've already made up for at least like the next three months worth of subscription so for my family or well for me specifically this is 100% worth it if you are a Disney lover or if you have a young child or you are a young kid at heart definitely do get Disney plus could not recommend it more this is not an ad I just absolutely love it I think it's absolutely freaking amazing I can't say there's many things I would sit and watch from 7am until half 11pm at night but here we are. Well, other than TikTok, but that doesn't count. But with that being said, I'm off to bed. I hope you guys enjoyed my little, like, day in the life of watching Disney+. Plus. Uh, and I guess I'll see you guys real soon. Bye!